Ooh, the sword's on sale. Yo, what is going on, Twisted Fits? My name is Damon, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. Today, we're checking out the Vending Block mod. This mod adds in a new awesome block into Minecraft that allows you to buy and sell items pretty easily. So, it's a pretty cool mod, guys. So, if you can smash the like button and get to 150 plus likes on this video. Anyways, let's get started by showing you a demonstration of this block. Now, the name basically corresponds to the block itself, and as I mentioned, it's an easy way to buy and sell items. So, basically, you set an item for sale as well as its price. So, as you can see here, it says Team Twist is selling one diamond for 32 coal. So say for instance you want a server and you wanted some diamonds you just need to have 32 coal in order to get one diamond unfortunately you cannot sell things to yourself so you need something called a wrench to change the name of the owner so when you have the vending machine wrench you just need to right click using the wrench on the vending machine block and it will bring up this new GUI this GUI is basically the vending block settings and then you can change the owner name I'll go over what the infinity does in a second but for now we're just gonna change the owner name to something else so I can sell stuff basically to myself so let's go ahead and change this to villager number one so villager number one and hit apply and there you go villager number one is selling one diamond for 32 coal so now i can just hold a diamond in my hand or hold the cold in my hand and right click on the block and i'll get one diamond so i did have 64 so let's go ahead and right click again and get another diamond so now i have two diamonds in my inventory so if we go ahead again and use the wrench to change back our name to team twist on the owner name and access the block yet again and hit apply there we go and access the block now you can see that the diamonds or excuse me the coal has entered the storage section so you can pretty much do that with any item in minecraft so as you can see jim is selling one sword for 32 redstone so let's go ahead and buy a sword there we go bill is selling some glistering melon for some golden nuggets so let's go ahead and buy some of that there we go also lucy seems to be selling an enchanting book for some gas tiers now in addition to the normal vending block there's also the advanced vending block now the advanced vending block allows you to set any price that you want now normally if you want to set a price on a vending block you'll need to acquire the item that's needed so say for instance here it says Lucy is selling one enchanted book for 10 gas tiers that means Lucy will need to acquire at least 10 gas tiers to place into the vending block but if I use the advanced vending block I just need to right click access the menu and click under buying there's a select button and you could select from a creative menu any item that you would like this basically allows you to buy rare items without actually finding them yourself now another cool thing you could do is right click your vending block with the wrench and then enable the infinite. Now what this basically does is enable an infinite amount of the selling item. That means that you don't have to fill this entire storage area with ender chests if you want to sell a lot of ender chests. So that could be very useful, say for instance you want a huge storage system as well as you don't want to uh, you know, fill up the storage with the item that you want to sell. One thing to mention is that the wrench is a creative only tool. The reason it's a creative only tool is because you could access any of the vending machines using the wrench as well as change the owner name. Now in addition to that, if you place it on the vending block, it also automatically names the person that placed it as the owner. So you cannot actually change the owner name unless you're an admin or you're on creative mode on the server or in survival or lane, whatever you're using this mod for. Now if you want to remove a vending block, you just need to remove all the items from the vending block and then punch the vending block. So let's go ahead and remove all of our items and then punch the block and as you can see our vending block is now in our inventory so guys i think that wraps up today's mod review hopefully you enjoyed the video take one second drop a like or a comment below also remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already this is team twist and i'll see you later